Hello everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Webulous Project Zomboid 3.0 Apricot State Pile. Last we left off, we we're on our way home, and that's what we're going to continue doing, is making our way home towards safety, towards comfort, towards sleep, and hopefully towards some food, since that's what our character needs right now. That and a little bit of chocolate, I think. I think he's a little down in the dumps. Don't tell him I said so, but I think he's going to be alright, as his uh, official therapist. So, uh, let's continue playing. Oh, click to skip. Short thing. Sounds good. Let's do it. And, uh, take a quick, quick take of our surroundings to make sure we're safe. And it seems that we are indeed safe. Now, uh, we do have some zombies that have wandered out, and we're gonna have to take care of them along the way, but that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Our character is exhausted, and if I remember correctly, the reason he's exhausted is because he ended up waking up early, and I did a lot of fighting as well, so that's gonna cause him to do a lot of, uh, to wear himself out, rather. Um, exert a lot of exhaustion. Or whatever the hell you want to call it. Really? Where'd you come from? I feel like this zombie comes out of nowhere. Probably just chilling in a home nearby. And, uh, ended up meandering a little bit too far from home. And got caught. Our field of view is actually pretty awful right now. And the reason for that is because we're exhausted and we're panicked. Uh, that combination has basically ensured that we have minimum, uh, view distance here. So, I need to be careful. Um, if we can... It's not dark enough to really show you how minimal it is. Um, but you can kind of see where the cone of view changes as I look. It's actually very, very small. Usually, like I said, it's about 180 degrees. But right now, we're not looking at a very 180 degrees-ish kind of area. We're looking at a much, much, much smaller radius than that. So let's get back home. We should be good. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. I know I am, as I tend to do. Uh, we're back on schedule. We should have five, a minimum of five videos today. There is a chance... We're looking at a nice six video, maybe even seven video day. What I have recorded after this, which I already have ready to go, um, which certain videos are going to come out before this one actually, is um, looking at, oh, God damn it, cat. Hopefully I'll, be, I'll remember to edit that out. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Is this the way I need to go? I think this is the way I need to go. Uh, oh, 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 videos. So um, they'll, some will be going up before this one, but what I have for today is my Arcage first impressions. I have Zomboid going up. I, uh, Last Federation is recorded, I have a, um, RimWorld done, uh, a, oh, and Paradox, the Paradox campaign starts up again today, so that, those five, at least, I want to get a Don't Starve up, and maybe a Judge Mathis, I might just stick with five or six videos for the day, though, so, uh, I'm not sure yet, we'll, we'll see how it ends up, all ends up going, um, but for, for the most part, things are going really nicely, I'm glad to be back on schedule, I've been kind of cranking out the videos all night, so I'm hoping it ends up paying off. We need to start eating. Well, you know, we actually don't need to eat anything else right now. Our character might get a little hungry before bed, but we could probably send him to bed a bit hungry, and we should be okay. So let's close up the door. Let's close our curtains, because for some reason they're open. And let's get him to sleep. It's good to be back on schedule, man. I mean, the past couple days have been three videos each. I hate that so much, especially since, you know, I kind of set myself this minimum of, like, four or five videos a day, depending on what's going on. To do less than that stresses me out. I don't like it. I'm glad to be back on. I gave myself the, you know, I allowed myself to, to like, say it's okay, Matt. This it was your birthday, and it was D&D &D night back to back. It's gonna cost you a little bit, but I don't like it. I don't like that excuse. I feel like it's an excuse, even though there really wasn't much I could have done about it. I still feel like I could have done something about it. Um, but it's good. I'm really happy to be back to a normal uh, recording schedule. And there's still so many Judge Mathis videos I need to knock out as quickly as I can. Because I've, I just get so many codes for so many cool looking games uh, that I just want to show you guys them. I really do. I think the next uh, Judge Mathis is going to be Factorio. That's one I've been really looking forward to checking out. It kind of popped up out of nowhere. And um, I emailed the devs and the devs were really cool about it. They, they, I think they emailed me back within an hour of me sending them the email. Whenever a dev gets back to you within the same day, never mind within the same hour of you emailing them, um, you know, that's, that's really awesome. They do, they're doing their job and they're doing it well. So uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out. I've already seen a couple videos on it. I'll probably play for a couple hours before I do a video on it first so I have an understanding of how the game works. And I'm looking forward to it. It looks cool. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, I know it's still an alpha, um, and I expect it to be an alpha for a while, obviously. But from what they have now, people are really enjoying it. And I'm looking forward to it. It looks like a fun little survival um, kind of, I guess, Minecrafty top down kind of game. It's hard to explain, uh, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. I'm also looking forward to going and play some more Arcage. I really want to play some more Arcage. I have to stop myself, though, because I, I don't have the time to play it as much as I would like. 
but uh, I really want to play more. No doubt. All right, we need to clean out some more zombies. I can't believe there's still so many. Um, what? Ooh, nice bullets. That's a good find. Whoa! I feel like he's taking them way slower than usual. Where'd this guy come from? Excuse me, sir. I don't know where you came from. I don't appreciate you hiding in the woods like a creep. I'm gonna have to punish you. I apologize. Punishment's a little bit harsh. It's death. Where'd you come from? Seriously? Did you spawn on the middle of the road? Jesus. How's our bat looking? Hurt. Do we have another bat on us? No, but we do have an axe and a sledgehammer if we get really desperate. Actually, let's, uh... I can't do wood glue. I don't think I'm allowed to do wood glue anyway. Ah, eh, we can do wood glue. Drop a repair on that thing. So let's, uh, put this away. We actually got a lot, a lot of it fixed up. That's awesome. Did that give us a lot of carpentry? Not really. But we could use it to kill a bunch more. That's really all that matters. I really hope I remember to edit out that whole cat thing. Oh, God. I feel like I'm going to forget. If I keep talking about it, though, I'll remember. I hope so. Last time I there was a little cat fight, I needed to go take care of it, and I completely forgot to edit it out. I'm such a forgetful person. I, I, get, I know I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it now because I'm sure there's a lot of new people here who don't really know. I am, my memory is awful. It always has been. It's not new. I am just, I have a horrendous, a horrendous, horrendous memory. And it's plagued me since I was a child. Um, and it's just one of those things that I can't seem to kind of fix. And I'm sure people are like, we should do this, you do this, you'll fix your memory. I don't have time for that shit. Um, I, I wish I could fix it, but I will, I will say something a million times over and I will forget to do it. So if you're watching and you get frustrated that I get lost, unless it's because I was sleep deprived, yeah, but just remember, my memory's awful. I get lost all the time. I have to drive somewhere. In real life, like, I have to use my GPS more than anybody else because I, if, unless I'm living in an area for like three months, I will not remember how to get to anywhere. Um, Carrie, um, my, my little lady friend, uh, she yells at me because of how often I forget. It's, it's insane. She gets mad. She used, to get, she used to get so mad at me that I had to use the uh, GPS. She would be like, why do you need to still use the GPS? We've been driving to the same place for goddamn, like, two months. How do you not know how to get there by now? I'd be like, look, I recognize the buildings. I don't recognize the turns. I, I know these buildings are familiar and I should remember them, but I don't. It's just how I am, man. Just love me for who I am, not what you want me to be. Unless I'm a zombie. Then you can't, then you don't have to love me. Boom. I saw him moving, had to check. Cleaning up the streets, baby. If only the rain cleaned up the blood. It's gonna beat your leg until you die. All right, I knew somebody saw me. Down. Man, we are just zombie killing machines as of late. It's good too. Okay, well, that was really damn close. Down, girl. Come on. Do love those brain jibs just flying all over the place. It's goddamn beautiful. Come on. Down you go. I'm hoping. I keep looking, uh, searching these zombies in hopes of an axe. It's my biggest hope. Down. Come on. Oh, right. Why am I going down? Well, I mean, I know why I'm going down this way, but I gotta remember that the, uh, the warehouse is surrounded. It's completely surrounded by zombies because the alarm went off. Let's see if I can get in somewhere and dry off. I don't want to deal with being wet too long. And risk getting sick. How about you, buddy? Come here. Glad this parking lot is mostly empty. I mean, I know I've been in this building before. I'm pretty sure there were zombies in there, which is why I wasn't able to search it all the way. But um, I still want to dive in and get dry if I can. To kill him. Maybe pop through this window right here and head into the office. Did I go this way last time? I don't think I did. But for now, we're just gonna pop in here. Come on. We'll shut this door in case there are zombies out there. For a second, I thought it was rain. Is it? It's not raining in here, is it? I hope not. Uh, can this bring up my happiness? No, just boredom. I think the, the wetness is going down, so. 
Okay, we're dry. Let's pop back outside. Have I been in here? I think I have. Checking the garbage bins for anything useful. I don't think this is going to help me, but I'm going to grab it anyway. In case I get sick, even though the zombies can't really hear me, I still think it'd be a nice, it's a nice safety precaution to have a tissue just in case. Has it stopped raining? It has. It's getting late, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we have to head back. Making very slow progress towards this warehouse. I still want to clean it out. I do want to see if I can maybe clean it out. I think that's going to be my current goal is to clean out the zombies around it because in the inside it's going to be invaluable freaking nails and stuff. But we do have a good amount of nails as is. No food. Should have brought some food. For a trip this long, it's good to bring along food. Alright, what about you, buddy? Down, boy. Come on. Some of these guys are a little too resilient for my own tastes. What do we got? Wedding ring. Clean up aisle, whatever. Oh, we the trailer park too. The trailer park's got a place I gotta Oh, that's that's the main thing I have to go ransack is the trailer park. We would have been down there already, it's just the time was eaten up by zombies that were on the road, and if I have to do that every single time, I'm going to. Um, and the reason I will is because eventually Oh shit, we almost got bitten there because he didn't fall over. Holy shit. See, what the hell? Where are these guys coming from? Oh my god, they're making my life suck fucking miserable. Suck it, nerds. I hate you all. God damn. Now I guess I have a bug that is known in the game right now. It's called the wandering bug, where zombies just wander up to like the north-ish direction. Which is why I'm always seeing zombies wander off in that way. Kind of annoying, I guess. Not really game-breaking, but I guess maybe that's why you keep seeing them in the middle of the road, because they're just wandering off from wherever the hell they are in the map, and they just stop in the road. They're like, yeah, this is nice. I like this road. It's open, and there's, there's corpses everywhere. Now, granted, that means somebody's killing us all, but whatever. Maybe he's gone. I'm gonna make this road my home. I love this road. I love your road. The thoughts of a zombie. ba da 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 da. All right. Let's keep on going. I am trying to remember. One day we should be able to read these signs, I hope. That way I can remember what street I'm on. I doubt we will, but it'd be cool to be able to right click and inspect and read the street signs. That way you can kind of get bearings a little bit better. Especially if you're like me and you just get lost all the time because you're a freaking god dang dinglehorn. How many nails do we have? Ten? I'm going to need to start constructing. I really am. Because we haven't come across any books, I'm just going to have to start constructing a shitty wall. Whatever, I'll do it, man. I don't give a shit. So let's go up here. Let's eat some... Whoop. Let's not forget that either. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some food for bed. You know what? I'm, I just saw peanut butter, and I was like, you know what one of my favorite snacks before bed is sometimes? Like, just a little spoonful of peanut butter. You know what I used to eat a lot when I was growing up? I don't, not necessarily eat a lot when I was growing up, but when I was young, one of my favorite little homemade quote-unquote desserts was, I used to love to take peanut butter in this little, like, a bowl. That's a couple, like, two or three scoops of peanut butter. And then i take, like, a handful of chocolate chips and sprinkle them all over the peanut butter and stir them in and just eat, like, that as dessert. That sounds so gross now that I'm talking about it. But damn, man, that was, like, one of my favorite things. Chocolate chips mixed into peanut butter. Oh, so delicious. So delicious. Don't judge me. I can hear you judging me over there. Don't. One of my and then and then of course you start eating peanut butter out of necessity because you're poor. That was what I did. Uh, I don't know if I've told this story, but back when I was working in Cheesecake Factory in my old apartment and Carrie was in her internship, she's not working her full job. We were living in an apartment we could not afford. It was just ridiculous. So that meant I, th I swear I've probably told this story. I apologize. I'm like an old man with a goddamn awful memory. Hey, I have a bad memory. Didn't we just talk about this? Um, but we, they were, they would be, there would be weeks where we couldn't go grocery shopping and we couldn't eat like normal people because we just couldn't afford it. So we would have to basically make do with what we had in the house if that meant eating like fucking like, it meant eating anything we get our hands on. Ramen was like 
the perfect thing. But sometimes we wouldn't have ramen and I'd get home really late from work and I didn't realize we didn't have any ramen at home and I had nothing to eat. There were nights because we were so poor that I would eat peanut butter for dinner because it would fill me up. Like that's how poor we used to be. Luckily now she actually has a job that pays like really well. She's not in her internship anymore. She's a full-fledged vet and um, I'm making enough money to, to actually have, you know, food in the house and it's nice. It's nice to not have to eat peanut butter for days at a time. My parents and her parents, God bless them, man, they saved our lives. Her parents saved our lives a bunch. And my parents would actually go grocery shopping for us like once a month, which was really nice to grow grocery shopping. Oh, man, it was just awesome. I don't know what we'd do without them. So, so good. I will forever be thankful for their help. Awesome people. All right. So I'm doing some construction, obviously. I'm trying to get some walls up here. I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to go without walls for too long. Um, I also will get some experience from doing this, at least some carpentry experience. It's not going to be amazing, but as long as we can get to level two in a decent amount of time, we'll have the opportunity to get better walls. And if we need to, we can break down these walls and replace them with better ones. But because this area is so safe, I feel like that's not really going to be needed right away. I also want to see, do I have two sheets? I need sheets, man. I need some sheets. Also, do I have enough to build one more wall? I think I only can have enough to build one more wall, but we'll see. Yeah, just that one, because we don't have enough nails otherwise. Uh, I guess we'll store these planks in here for now, and we'll do a sheet check in the building. Nail. Planks. Now, I know I made one one sheet rope prior I'm gonna take it out because we need one more so I can put it in the um, so we can put it in a window I just don't think we have any oh god oh god I feel a sneeze coming on <coughs> Oof. sneezes man I love them it feels so good all right, uh, let's see if we can find a sheet in a nearby building that I probably left behind. I would expect that I left a sheet behind here. I've probably also done this already, looking in nearby buildings being like, Matt, I should probably left a sheet behind. Go check. And then I was like, oh, man, I didn't find one. Maybe I didn't. And then I'm going to do it again now because I just don't remember doing it. Just do a quick search. It doesn't have to be detailed or anything like that. Just a quick run through. To see if I did. This building's all boxed up. But who knows? Any of these boxes? No. Over here. Sheets. All I need is one. I just need one sheet. And I can make a sheet rope out the back window, which would allow us some more maneuverability. Nothing. 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 Um. Let's check a couple of these houses. These would be a better bet. What the? Where'd you come from, dude? You're in the wrong neighborhood, sucker. Uh, eat it. Eat it. Eat my long, hard wooden bat. Hello? Anybody on the hall? Damn. I'll take the sleeping tablets. I don't know why I didn't take them last time. I don't even question it anymore at this point. Hello? Nobody home. Alright. Well, nothing here. I'm going to keep searching for these, at least next episode, if I remember that's what I was doing, because there's a good chance I won't. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying it, make sure you come back tomorrow for some more Daily Project Zomboy, and consider dropping a like. It helps me out more than you realize. And as always, I'll see all you guys next time. Bye-bye.